is going to be our moderator today for education. I'm really excited about that. Like we talked about, um, the theme for 2021 is the art of communication. Our uh, January topic is communication after placement. Um, what families want and need and, um, and, and getting some of that information from two of our placement agents that are on the panel. And then um, from communities, hearing ways that they are communicating with their families during transition. So a big part of this is um, to really get, up, get us ourselves out of these silos that we're in and really start to work together and collaborate on how we can best meet expectations of families best meet expectations of families with communication and just to to elevate us all and how we can help families. So Rich, I'll let you take it from there. Thank you, Pam. Uh, I wanna thank my panel uh, for their help today and their expertise. And I'll let them give you a quick bio. Let's go with uh, Morgan Jenkins with Maintain Me next. Good morning, everybody. Happy to be here um, alongside Jen on this panel. And I'm Morgan. I'm the Director of Transitions at Maintain Me Senior Services. Um, you just got an introduction from Chelsea. She's the owner. And we have Julie on the call as well. Um, we make up the team with our business office manager. And we're locally owned and operated. We do consulting. We do acute case management. And then we also do um, placements or as we refer to them as transitions and just happy I echo what Jen said this um, the design of this is to raise everybody up to make this a better process for everybody um, specifically for our clients that we serve thank you just things that you and Chelsea and your team does um, that goes above and beyond like this um, but the specific question to start with is what do you do for families and seniors to help them to have a successful trans transition to senior living? Because we've looked at it from a community point of view. Now I want to see it from a, a placement agent point of view. Thanks, Rich. I'd be happy to answer that. And thanks for the kind words about maintaining me. Um, so one of the first things that I like to do with families when we have kind of decided, um, I guess we'll take it from there since we are focusing on transition, is just to let them know, um, you know, things can come up. I think that upon move in, we print, uh, we have a picture of how it's going to go. And the family feels 100% comfortable with the community that they're gonna do everything set to this expectation. But I tell them, you know, this is uh, this is your loved one's personality coming together with new caregivers in a new environment. There's anxiety, there's apprehension, and sometimes this can cause problems. So don't expect everything to be perfect so that you aren't disappointed if something comes up. And that small things, if, you're, if you don't bring them up, become very big things and they multiply and they snowball. So if it's something as simple as, I'm not sure if my mom's had her shower, um, then it's that very moment is the time to seek communication on that. And not, I'm not sure if my mom's had her shower. Um, I call her every day and she says no one comes to see her. And these other things start to, it becomes a list of issues versus, mm -hmm let's just see if she's had her shower today um and so building off of that i just i paint the picture of stuff can come up it's expected um this is all these personalities coming together and we respect them and they respect us and it's all about mutual respect when you're coming into a community it's like moving into a new neighborhood if you get to know your neighbors and you engage and you put into the community you will get more out of the community. And that's for individuals. I work with a lot of people who, who are looking for themselves, not necessarily with family members, which I think is a blessing. I love that because this is someone who's self-advocating. Um, it's not the family members that keep contact necessarily, these are individuals that are making their own decisions. 
And so I just encourage them um, with, you know, kind of setting the stage that stuff happens, but here's how you would address it. And making sure to find who that key contact is, that person that you call or reach out to, um, making sure they know how to reach you, what form of communication that's best done in, and then build a relationship with that person. Fantastic answer.